Good morning, good morning, fellas and ladies. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. Here we are going down this hill that we spun out there this last winter. Yeah, we just got our load. Now we're ready to go. Yeah, the load wasn't ready yesterday, which I kind of knew anyways. Because, uh... It was only scheduled for today at 9 a.m. And so here we are, quarter to nine, we're leaving there. That is Eastern time though, it's quarter to eight central time. <clears throat> we got a truck stop just down the road here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down there and uh, In a quarter mile, I gotta send my paperwork yet, yeah, I don't have to do it from the truck stop. But uh, I can't do that while driving, right? So. Uh, In 1,000 feet, turn right on. Can't and I only do well. get my Being paperwork uh, when uh, when I leave the gate. So. Uh, so yeah, we need to go down there to the truck stop, fill out the rest of our paperwork, and send it to dispatch, and then we're all good to go. Send our uh, leaving message yet too, I guess need to do that so let's make our way down to the truck stop and continue on this road for get all of that miles. stuff taken care of we got uh, according to RJ we got 405 miles to go till we will be in Mississauga Ontario it says we should be there at 4 this afternoon obviously that's Eastern time so that'll be right as rush hour starts, I guess. So, uh, whatever. It's alright. We'll make her in there eventually, right? Looks like another beautiful uh, Monday, uh, Monday. It looks like another beautiful Wednesday morning. I just about said Monday morning, but... Monday is long past, you know, we as truck drivers, we're always on the road, uh, Sometimes it feels like Sunday and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it feels like Monday. <laughs> we get all screwed up with our days sometimes, you know. Because we don't get to enjoy like holiday off like you guys do, you know. Like some of you that are not truck drivers, you know. Like if you got a regular job, you know, you get every holiday off. And we don't. We, we got to drive. We got to make money. And, you guys need the produce, uh, products that you know you buy in the grocery stores or any store for that fact. So you need to continue rolling and deliver the products that you guys need or want to buy. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Anyway, it's another mile down the road here. That's where the truck stop is. And that's where we're going to pull in. And find us a parking spot and do our paperwork real quickly and fire that off to dispatch and we'll be out of here that's right here we go guys now we are on our way to Mississauga Ontario look at here to the left yeah we're coming down the big hill right now yep we done all our business there at the truck stop send all our paperwork in and all that good stuff and and we went inside and had us a bite to eat. I like the sandwiches that they, they make up there. So I figured, yeah, I'll try something different today instead of eating in a truck every single day. You know, that gets tiring after a while. So anyways, after we had all of that taken care of, we came back to the truck and I already got all my messages that my uh, border crossing has been uh, set up and all good to go. So. Uh, and all that's all all that's left to do right now is just hammer down and go make her uh, make her to Toronto and go to Master State <laughs> yeah we haven't been there in a while now so it's time to go visit Master State again right that's what I say but yeah let's make our way down there I hope they uh, 
weather is going to continue the way it is, nice and calm, no hardly any wind, nice and sunny, that's the way we like it. The less wind we have, the better we do on fuel mileage. We obviously can't do anything about it, but hey, we can always hope for it, right? That's right. But absolutely gorgeous areas up here in Pennsylvania, that's for sure. But lots of nice sceneries, that's what I like about Pennsylvania. Although it is a little hard when you have a heavy load going up on some of these hills, but other than that, absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, so let's make our way down to Toronto. Hopefully we don't have too much of a traffic down there when we get there. But then again, we have to deal with it, right? As truck drivers, professional drivers, we just have to deal with the traffic. That's right. I see you chiseled in stone And even though it's felt right Somehow it seems wrong He wasn't a cowboy He never claimed to be Just an ordinary man But bigger than life to me Wild Bill wasn't his name But he earned that title In his younger days Raising Cain And he could pull a gun From his holster Faster than his hero John Wayne Grandpa, Daddy, Wild Bill One and the same And all he had to say with a sticker on the back of his truck Freedom for him was God, guns, and guts Tough as nails, I guess he thought he had to be But with a shake of his head and a grin, he'd put you at ease Wild Bill wasn't his name But he earned that title in his younger days raising cane He could pull a gun from his holster Faster than his hero John Wayne Grandpa, Daddy, Wild Bill, one same Standing at his graveside, I see the shadow of a gun. I look into the sky to see the cloud it's coming from. Then a voice from above wipes away all of my pain. It says, Tell them all I'm happy, I finally got to me. Wild Bill wasn't his name But he earned that title in his younger days raising cane He could pull a gun from his holster Faster than his hero John Wayne Grandpa, Daddy, Wild Bill won the same Grandpa, Daddy, Wild Bill, one the same. Well, guys, we are just giving her. Yeah, that's right. We're still here on uh, Pennsylvania on U.S. Uh, Highway 15 northbound and down. Yeah, we got some beautiful mountains, Rockies up here, or whatever you want to call them. And so I hope you guys.
guys enjoy the little music uh, fast forward video that I just had on there yeah I like to show you some sceneries that's what I really enjoy and uh, hey here's some more sceneries right here we're gonna be going over a little bit of a bridge here in a little bit you might be able to see it right ahead of us there and we got some water up there I don't know how much of that the camera will pick up but yeah right here we're going over a bridge and a little bit over a river up here I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not but whatever that's all right anyways we're just still cruising right along here we've been going for about two and a half hours now just cruising right on along here we got another 272 miles to go before we will be in Mississauga so yeah we got us a few hours to go yet but that's all right we got all day to do it right it's only 11 o'clock right now central time so it's early yet <laughs> yep but anyways we'll continue on cruising here and we'll keep you guys uh, in the loop what we're gonna do next and all that good stuff here we are coming into Buffalo New York that's right we will be in Canada here very shortly looks like we got us well probably about 10 miles we'll be in Canada that's right I'm excited be back in Canada we're going to master stake right so that's why we're excited yeah although I think what I'm gonna do is uh, still haven't heard anything from dispatch if they got a load for me tonight or anything like that so I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go just past the border there's a flying jet I think we're gonna go up there fuel up the truck and then I think I'm gonna go inside and have me a shower get all that good stuff taken care of and then that way I'll be in Toronto a little later but then there will be less traffic generally so uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping for that way we have less traffic up there at least I got a shower already you know got that part taken care of so so yeah let's go ahead and move her over in into the right lane about three miles we gotta move into the right lane anyways so looks like we got the opportunity now so may as well do that that we were in the right lane that we need to be in and then we can make our exit go to the border and hopefully there ain't too much of a lineup over there today and then we'll be in Canada before we know it that's right but anyways, let's get out of here. Here we are, we just crossed the border. Yes, indeed. All that's left to do is go through this tool booth up here because we gotta pay for uh, crossing this bridge up here, but they do take the easy pass, so uh, we're generally good in that department. We do have an easy pass right there on the window. On this road for Just takes kilometers. a little bit for them to register it. After that, we're good to go. There we go. It says easy pass, good to go. Here we are. So, now we can officially say we're back in Canada. So, welcome to Ontario. I can't say the French, though. That's not my, top, my, my cup of tea, I guess. But here we are, and it is pretty warm out here today, got up to 32 degrees already there in New York at one point, now it has cooled down to, uh, to 29, but I guess it's probably because we're close to the water, so that's probably why, but uh, yeah, anyways, welcome back to Canada ladies and gentlemen. I am going to go ahead and find me that fly and jay here in a minute and we'll make our way down there. Here we go. We are just going into the fly and jay right now. It's like four kilometers basically from the border to this fly and jay. 
So that's very close. Like, that's like two miles, a little over two miles. North service road, and then and here we are, destination on the right side. Coming to the fly and hook already. We're gonna go in here and take us a shower, fuel up, do all that good stuff. And then we'll get out of here and then we'll make our way towards Toronto. So let's go ahead and take care of business up here. Yeah, guys, here we are on the Kiwi W. We got us another 45 minutes to go up till we will be at our terminal. But hey, that's all right. We'll be in there. We already got us a reload and all that stuff. We're going to go uh, pick up a loot. Uh, well, it's supposed to be picked up tonight, but uh, I know this place and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them up Say uh, I'll be there early in the morning picking it up. So, so What we're going to do is going to go to the terminal drop this trailer and then we're going off duty We're going to master steak have a good steak to eat get a good night's sleep We'll get up probably at 3 o'clock in the morning. We'll head over there pick up the load now we'll have an early morning start, but hey, we'll put in a good long day tomorrow. And then from the looks of it, we'll be home Friday evening. Yeah, we'll be home for the weekend for once. Although I might go out on Sunday again, because all I'm doing is reset and go, reset and go. I want to work. That's right. But anyways, we got our work cut out for us. Because our logbook is going to be real tight to make it home Friday night. So uh, we're going to have to keep her pretty steady. We won't be able to stop too much and uh, have too much time off. But that's all right. Anyways, I just figured I'd give you guys a little update on where we at. We had us a nice shower over there at the Fly and Hook and all that good stuff. So filled up. Yeah. So here we go. I am now in Mississauga, Ontario, guys. Look at that. We're here over here at the Husky. Maybe you can see it over there. Yes, indeed. And we are going to go across the street over there to Master Steak. So I figured, you know what? I already dropped my trailer and did all that good stuff. So uh, we're going to get a go ahead and get out of here. We'll uh, say goodbye to you guys for now. And we'll uh, see you guys again right here tomorrow morning on the Trucker Rudy Show. So don't go nowhere. Stick around for tomorrow's show. So we'll see you right here tomorrow. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.